I'm Ross Dragenza. I'm a video game composer, uh, and I had the privilege to compose a buttload of music for the game Cyberpunk 2077. It comes out tomorrow. Well, the chances are you're going to be watching this at some point in the future. So, um, yeah, uh, you probably played some or all of it already. Uh, I wrote a load of music for the in-world jingles, uh, 130 tracks, I think, all together. Uh, which was awesome. I got to um, write in a huge variety of styles for a huge variety of themes uh, under the direction of Marcin, the audio director, who gave me plenty of feedback and uh, provided me with some direction for when things were going well and when they weren't. Something that became evident almost immediately after I first started sending him some of the music was that it all sounded like it was one composer writing the music, which is obviously a problem because the in-world adverts are supposed to be a world of adverts. So if they sound like they're all written by one guy, that's gonna be weird. So his first and major direction for me for the project was to diversify, to make it sound like I was a hundred composers, not one, which is as difficult as it sounds. I. Um, there are points where I just felt like I'd exhausted every possible instrument that I knew of, every possible musical technique, but uh, I just had to dig deep and uh, I learned some new musical styles. I used some tools that I've never used before. Uh, certainly, I kind of went to the, the four corners of my uh, musical tool set and found weird and wonderful instruments that I never had any intention of using previously and uh, just rinsed everything I owned to make sure that the, uh, the in-world adverts just sounded diverse and exotic and just that each one was from a different background musically. Um, it was awesome fun. I mean, I did everything from like trap drums to 70s Rhodes piano to Egyptian themed craziness through to traditional orchestration and uh, also I've been mean, a lot of uh, electro I I'm a electro musician is my background so um, I really enjoyed kind of infusing it with like a like a 90s electro industrial theme I'm a big fan of um, music of that era um, you know, early Nine Inch Nails, Skinny Puppy, Front 242, and then the more electro side of that, like um, uh, Prodigy, uh, you know, like verging into the, the pop territory at the time, and then onto like, you know, Chemical Brothers and things like that. Um, so I was kind of drawing on a lot of those influences. I think my, my first obvious, obvious go-tos were um, like a more Blade Runnery sounds using like a, a CS80 keyboard uh, Vangelis kind of vibe, but um, that's not what they wanted to go for. And I think that's that's a, a great idea to avoid that cliche. I mean, it was amazing music, but um, cyberpunk is its own beast and it's it really brings something new to the table. So it was smart to, uh, to avoid falling into easy, lazy musical tropes, which was cool. Um, so yeah, I got to write a lot of awesome music. I had a lot of fun and uh, I'm gonna run a few of the adverts that I did. This is just I think about 10 or 15 of the 130 adverts and billboards and uh, TV station bumpers and things that I did for the duration of the project but I hope you enjoy it and um, like and subscribe. I don't know what I'm pointing at, there's not gonna be any buttons here, just uh, like and subscribe, uh, come and chat to me on Facebook and Instagram uh, I'm around, come and chat, I'm a friendly person and I'd love to chat to you about my music.